What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've been here before, uh, hello, welcome back. And if you're new here, hello, welcome. Um, I'm in the same place as another video that is going to go up probably right after this one uh, in a couple days, but I filmed that one first because it was on my mind. Um, anyway, yeah, let's get into this. The burning question I know you're all wondering. One of my favorite songs of 2020. What is my favorite song of 2020 so far? Drum roll, please. You can pretend there's a drum roll going right now. It is Don't Doubt Your Vibe by Elon Musk. Your is you are. Yes, that Elon Musk, or as he's credited for the song, Elon EDM Musk. If you don't know who Elon Musk is, he is, among many other things, uh, he's a multi-billionaire tech CEO. He is the founder and CEO of SpaceX and the co-founder, CEO, and product architect of Tesla. The cover art for Don't Doubt Your Vibe actually has a Tesla Cybertruck flying in front of Mars. Because, you know, why not? Elon Musk is also pretty entertaining on Twitter. Um, I'll put a collage of his tweets in a second, but I find it interesting because it's like he'll have all these posts about Tesla and his companies and SpaceX and like these scientific and technological innovations, and then a post about chairs. At the end of January, Elon Musk released this song on SoundCloud, uh, as well as Spotify and other places. Um, it's actually his second song, but this one, I mean, it's gaining a lot of traction. I actually heard about the song a couple weeks after it came out in February. I was listening to the Tiny Meat Gang podcast, and Cody and Noel were talking about this new Elon Musk song. So what did they do? I paused the podcast to go listen to it. And honestly, it's a banger. Uh, the lyrics are pretty repetitive. They're simple, which like that's par for the course for EDM, right? You know, you're, you're going to have like a few words over and over. The song just says, don't doubt your vibe because it's true. Don't doubt your vibe because it's you. So it's, I guess, like sort of vaguely inspirational-y kind of. Um, the song is like chill and hypnotic, but it, it feels like something I could totally dance to. And if this was dropped at like a live performance, I'd be super into it. It is the kind of song that it does feel like it could have been made by a whole bunch of different people, but okay. I mean, I dig the song, you know, something about it kind of resonates with me. It's fun. But the thing is, I think if anyone else had put out this song, I would have forgotten about it, right? Like, it's a, it's a good song, but something about the fact that it's by Elon Musk has made me even more intrigued to the whole thing. Like, I put it on one time and I was kind of like, I've, like I had no idea what to expect, you know? What kind of song is Elon Musk going to put out? What, like, will he sing on the song? He did. It's his vocals. It, like, what, it, I, I didn't know what to expect, but I put on the song and I liked it. And I don't know. I, I'm, like, that's my whole quandary right now, right? Like, why is a song made by one of the most famous and rich, like, tech CEOs in the world something I've had on repeat? Like, did Elon Musk really make my favorite song of 2020? I, maybe. So far. We're only a couple months into the year. But that's the whole thing. Like, it's kind of weird, right? Like, I, I mean, especially where I, the music I kind of grew up with, like all this pop punk and emo and alternative, 
all of that is like people who start out in their basements and all, right? Elon Musk is super rich and famous and I'm sure, especially dating a musician, has so many resources at his disposal. But like he put this song out technically DIY, right? Like he recorded it and then he released it on his label, Emo G Records. So I don't know, I guess that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know if any label would sign him, maybe. You know, it, but I'm just saying if he were to play a festival set or have like a show in New York, I would be so there. Um, and I think part of it is kind of the, the fun of like, dude, why is Elon Musk making music? Wait, it's good? Oh shit. Yeah. Like I can, I can get into this. Um, uh, I, you know, I think it does add to the fun that it was made by Elon Musk. If you're wondering uh, what this song sounds like, I mean, I don't think I could really tell you uh, what like subgenre it is because it's not really something I'm like an expert in, honestly. But I will tell you that if you go to the song's radio on Spotify, you will get artists like Diplo, Elenium, Porter Robinson, Tritonal, and Grimes, who, as I think I've mentioned, Elon Musk is dating. Um, not going to play the song since I don't want to get copyright claimed for this video, but I will put a link to it below. So check the song out for yourself. I am curious to hear what other people think of the new Elon Musk song. And I would like to know your answer to the question. Did Elon Musk put out your favorite song of 2020? Because my answer might be yes. And that's really weird. I've got a long way to go, though. Ten months left in the year, so, you know, who knows? Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and comment and share this video with a friend. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Tell a friend to subscribe, uh, and if you do that, probably I will get to 10 million subscribers very soon. Elon Musk, if you are watching this, thank you. Please like retweet it or comment, whatever. That'd be sick. And if you ever want to get coffee when you're in New York or something, hit me up. I would, I'll interview you about the song. Why not? That'd be sick, right? Interview Elon Musk about his music. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace.